details tonight on a deadly shooting in Dania Beach. Tonight we're hearing from the man who says he had no choice but to fire his gun. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight in Dania Beach with more on exactly what happened here. Ted. Yeah, Jim, that happened around 2 o'clock this morning in the house right behind me here. Uh, this is in Dania Beach. The homeowner said that a friend moved in a couple years back. Then early this morning, that roommate pulled a gun and the homeowner was forced to fire. He spoke to reporters through the window. Yeah, I've known this kid a long, long time, and yeah, I felt very bad about it. But I wasn't about to let myself get hurt. Rick Lane talks about some terrifying moments. He admitted shooting his roommate and friend, Jonathan Miller, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Miller was living in Lane's Dania Beach home, helping him because of health problems. Walked in my room in the middle of the night with a gun. Told me I had to take him out for, to get something to eat. And uh, when I refused, he raised the gun up. Lane said at that point, he had no choice. I had a gun of my own. He lost. So and you shot him once? I shot him three times. Lane calls this a clear case of self-defense. And I told him to stop pointing the gun at me, and he wouldn't. So at one point, I said, that's it. You, if, you know, my father taught me if you point a gun at somebody, you better be prepared to use it. He wasn't. I was. Crime scene investigators spent hours in Lane's home gathering evidence. They pulled a firearm from the house. Lane spent hours at BSO headquarters speaking with detectives. I don't think I'm going to be charged because he had a gun. It was self-defense. And at this point, no charges have been filed. However, detectives say the case remains open. Live in Dania Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.